sun is up, it's a beautiful day My beginning will be as bright as the sun Come, won't you come along And it feels so bright It's like luck is raining on me Go and follow your heart Doesn't matter how far There is so much Well, hello all my beautiful friends out there in YouTube land And welcome back to another Hewitt Homestead One of the few maybe the last, I don't know, video that we do here on this homestead. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Guys, this is so scary and exciting and daunting. Oh my goodness, we got so much stuff to do. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. I gotta empty out this shipping container because it's too heavy for the guys to come pick it up and take it out to the new property. It's gotta be empty, so. We gotta empty all this stuff out. We don't have any place to put it. So we're gonna stack it in a nice pile over here in the yard, cover it with tarps and stuff. And we are supposed to be getting a good bit of rain today, tomorrow, and maybe the next day. And then I've got the next four days off. And so that's gonna give me one day. So over the next three days, we're gonna do what we can do. We're gonna put the stuff out here that it doesn't really matter if it gets wet, which really isn't much. Um, we're going to be going through stuff in the house. We're going to be taking stuff to the dump, stuff to Goodwill, stuff to Once Upon a Child, doing everything that we can do. We're going to be taking some stuff like all of this outdoor uh, furniture and the toys and everything. It's going to be going to the new property. I've got that little shed on the property um, that the uh, current owners left. It's half full of junk, but I might be able to make myself a little bit of room in there. Uh, I need to find out. I need to clean that out and go take all their stuff to the dump. That'll give me some storage out there for my tools and stuff. Uh, so much to do. I've got four days to do it in. Three of these next four days are supposed to be rainy. And then i got to go back to work for five days. And then I'll have... Really? Seriously? Make a little more noise, please. And then I'll have three days off to finish everything up before we close. Y'all pray for me. I need it. Oh my goodness. What have we gotten ourselves into? Into September. About 90 degrees a day. Super muggy. Ugh. Welcome to Florida. Just so you guys know what we got going on here, we are making three piles. We got a pile of trash, and we're gonna take the stuff to the dump. We got a pile of uh, paper, cardboard, and wooden stuff that we can burn. And this is gonna be a pile of everything that we're keeping. We gotta get everything out of here, get everything off of here, and get it all piled up right here. I'm gonna cover it with tarps in case we get any rain. This thing has got to be completely empty. And right now, I'm about a fifth of the way done probably well good morning everybody and I'm back at it again here on the next day uh, it has already rained this morning again welcome to Florida we got a little bit of drizzle yesterday uh, this is crazy guys um, if you can see behind me you can see this container is still very full I am going through everything I've it's it's actually believe it or not it's a lot better it's a lot closer to where we need to be I'm just hesitant to put it outside and cover it with the tarp just because I know we're supposed to get a lot of rain today and again tomorrow. But I'm going to walk you down in here and kind of see what's going on as long as the light. Hey, cool. This works because I've got this little light here. So you see we had all these shelves. All these shelves were full of stuff. A lot of it's been thrown away. 
a lot of it's already bagged up and it's already or in five gallon totes um, so it won't be hard and it won't take long to get everything pulled out and put it right here beside the shipping container covered with these big tarps <laughs> Well, I noticed the other day when I was going to go cut the grass again, I had a flat tire and then I blew it up and then that was just two days ago and I noticed that today it was already flat again. So before I put all of my tools away and pack everything away, I wanted to find this, uh, find the hole in this tire and plug it. So I've, I have uh, used a little water and figured out. We got a little hole right there. So now I gotta fix that before we put all these tools away. So I'm gonna go and knock that out. Like a champ. Well, good morning, you guys. It's day three. I'm still working on the shipping container. Thought it was gonna be done in one day. It's been raining every day, so that slowed it down. I'm sure you've probably heard somebody say it's got to get worse before it gets better. Pretty sure whoever coined that phrase was a professional mover. It's been 17 years since I moved to my house, and <clears throat> the best I remember, it was it was pretty rough. Moving pretty much stunk. <laughs> you know, it just hit me as I've heard people say before. You know who your true friends are when it comes time to move, <laughs> and that is so true so true this is absolute misery you guys and on top of that it's been raining every day so my plan was to get everything out of the shipping container outside over here on the yard next to the shipping container throw a tarp over it just in case we get some rain but it's been pouring for the last two days i don't even want to take the stuff out there i tried a couple of trips yesterday and and then i would get some stuff out there and then the rain would just come in and I'd have to run out there and try to cover it with the tarp. I don't want everything getting wet and then being under a tarp and then you get mold and all that stuff. So it's like the last two days have been like a train wreck in slow motions. What baby? What, what you want baby? Those are your water boots, right? And you could jump in puddles and you won't even get wet. How you doing this morning, honey? Did you come to help? Yeah. No, you're just coming to supervise? Yeah. Make sure daddy does it right? All right, you guys. I'm gonna get to work. Pray for me. One, two, three, come on! Well, y'all think I'm kidding. I mean, every single day like clockwork. Seems like it's right around three o'clock. Today it's 2.30 2 right now. We get rain. Oh my goodness. Today is three days in a row. I did get a lot done today. You can see the pile behind me. That's almost everything out of the shipping container that we're keeping. This pile behind me over here is all gonna go get recycled or donated to Goodwills, stuff like that. All right, well, we're back at it. The rain has passed. It dumped a good bit on us. Everything is thoroughly wet. So we're gonna pick up where we left off. We are going to start disassembling all of the playground equipment.
Well, and just like that, the rain's coming back. I got to get this camera, this phone, out of the rain. You can't get the little thing off? And, and there's it. a lot of wasps up there. Really? Well, if there were, they all flew away. Well, don't sting them. Don't sting them. <laughs> This would happen. I knew that when we started to actually pack stuff up and clean this place out, it would hit, it would sink in. That uh, we'll be more moving, you know. We're not just moving, we're we're leaving our home. Been here 17 years. This is the first house I ever bought. This was home. All four of my kids have been born here. They've all grown up here their entire lives and then they don't know anything else. I don't think it's really kicked in yet for them. I think they just see a whole bunch of work they have to do, but check it out, y'all. Trampoline's gone. Little kid swing set's gone. Big kid swing set's gone. Yep. It's starting to get real. <laughs> 